and new developments on the train derailment that happened on the Yellowstone River Saturday morning. And here's where the derailment occurred between Reed Point and Columbus. A bridge collapsed at around 645, causing freight train cars to fall into the Yellowstone River. Montana Railing says right now their top priority is to clean up the mess before finishing the investigation. The Montana Department of Environmental Quality is on scene to provide assistance to the incident command team and MRL on environmental oversight. And the key right now is cleanup. First off, we've, we've got to get those rail cars um, away from over the river and then the rail cars that are in the river. Um, along with that, once that's done, we'll start looking at removal of the product that was released into the river. Officials completed offloading of one car that was derailed but still on the bridge that contains sodium hydrosulfide. With the rail car being moved to a safe location, Governor Greg Gianforte, along with the First Lady, went to go see the site firsthand and learn more about the incident. The initial testing in the river has come back negative. Uh, we're going to continue testing water quality to ensure the integrity of water supply for downstream users. And with testing coming back negative, Montana Fish, Wildlife and Parks have reopened Pelican, Bratton and Indian Fort fishing access sites after initial closures the day of the derailment. And if you want to see the full interviews with Montana DEQ and the governor, head to our Facebook page, NBC Montana, along with our website to see statements from Montana Rail Link and FWP. We will make sure to keep you updated on air and online as the story develops.